We are rolling. Hi everyone. Ty here. Back on Laurel Canyon. Can you see the back? Can you? Are you getting the background, John? Yeah. Okay. Lovely Laurel Canyon. Some trees. Some trees. Hollywood. Oh my gosh, John! It has been how many months since we did one of these diaries? I think like you sure? Feels longer. I'd have to go back and look at the YouTube channel. Could be. Anyway, um, so glad to be back. Too long. So it's too long. Um, so much to to um, cram into because I'm not going to go over five minutes. Uh, this will not be a 13 minute video diary. That's way too long, and, and I ramble too much like I am now. But anyway, um, so much has happened. Um, First, I would like to uh, thank everyone on Facebook and on Twitter for the wonderful messages regarding my, uh, me celebrating six years of sobriety. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Uh, November 4th, I celebrated. And um, the messages were just, I mean, and there were a lot. So thank you to my family, to my friends, to my fans for your support uh, through the years. I have never felt better. I have never been more productive. Yes, I'm working my ass off um, and just, you know, opening myself up to different uh, areas in the entertainment business, entertainment world. Um, is it easy at my age? Absolutely not. but. There's room for everyone, and um, I know my strengths, and I know my weaknesses. One of my strengths is I like to talk a lot, and um, with talking a lot, um, I got hired um, by Ken Boxer uh, to be a co-host on his talk show, which is taped in Santa Barbara. Thank you, Ken Boxer. Ken Boxer Live. Um, I can't remember how many shows I've done so far, but... Um, I'm having the best time and it's the best learning experience for whatever else is gonna whatever you know comes my way in the future in this area um, I love it love it love it the the um, athletes and icons from the TV world past and present um, have been amazing and you know up, uh, coming up, we have Lou Ferrigno next week. Um, we have my partner, my skating partner, Randy Gardner, which should be very interesting. I keep saying it could be very emotional. It could be a complete, uh, I don't want to see, say train wreck, but it could, it could go, this interview with Randy could go in a million directions. So I'm excited. I'm I'm anticipating a, a wonderful interview with him. Uh, Rafer Johnson, one of my idols, Olympic champion Rafer Johnson. Um, who else? Oh, uh, Tony Dow, Ken Osmond from Leave It to Beaver fame. Um, once again, TV icons. Uh, hello, Kenny Loggins said yes. Can you believe that, John? And that, I see I'm rambling, but I'll tell you how that happened. Uh, Randy and I, back in 96, 1996, um, it's really a rough year for me. Uh, my father had passed away. I was going through a divorce. And I was moving from a house to another house. And just very emotional. And But at the same time, we were getting offers to go skate again. So for me, the best thing... Uh, was to get out and do what I love to do, and that was perform. So Randy, um, actually I picked the piece of music, um, was from a, ch a children's lullaby CD with all these different uh, A-list artists singing lullabies, and one of the songs was a version of John Lennon's Love and performed by Kenny Loggins. And I picked the song because it was so beautiful and it was just it was quiet and it was just it was it was soothing and Randy choreographed a beautiful number to it and this is the number we used um, for that year the year of 96 and we did very well with it it was the perfect 
release for me. Um, some nights were very emotional. Um, so anyway, blah, blah, blah. I have the video of this, of us performing it, and I posted it on Twitter. And of course, I um, included Kenny Loggins' uh, Twitter address, at Kenny Loggins. And he, he, um, he retweeted it, and also, uh, I know, I know, that I freaked out when that happened. And, you know, mentioned that, you know, how great it was. And so that was really my, my connection to becoming friends with, with Kenny Loggins. And it was through our craft and the beautiful piece of music that he sang. And um, so, Kenny, thank you so much. I know you are busy. And... You do a lot of talk shows and a lot of press, and for you to say yes to Ken Boxer Live is just, we are over the moon, excited and honored. Um, Santa Barbara is your home, so that's great. Uh, so Kenny is on the show Febu February 23rd. Um, so, but I'll, you know, I'll post a lot about this and of course the, our other wonderful guest. Um, what else? I think that's it for now, because I could go on for another 15, 20 minutes, and that's I, a lot. It, it, yeah, it is a lot. So, John, thank you. Um, thank you. It's great to see you again. And uh, what else? What else? We that's were, it. We're what? Sunset crawling. The other night. Oh, we, oh, we were night crawlers. See, um, what night was that? What? Last Saturday night. I think so. Last Saturday night, uh, my friend Leif Garrett and his. Uh, Oh, and they were so great. Tantric is the name of this band uh, from Kentucky, and they played the Whiskey A Go Go. And so I dragged John, uh, John along with me to the Whiskey, and we were night crawlers on sunset. And then after the show, which was like 2 a.m., we made a trip to Hollywood Ralph's and got some food. And party animals. Yeah, party animals. Um, was I tired? Absolutely, but it was fun. Okay, everyone, I'm done. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, and we'll do another uh, Ties Video Diary probably in a month or so. Bye! Mwah!